guys my name is Henry Holman and today I'm gonna show you guys how to get the VP9 encoder and I'm gonna show you how to upload 1440p 60fps videos the new VP9 encoder is a lot better than the old one so uh, yeah let's go ahead okay first of all I am using a Sony Vegas Pro 14 if you have an older version, it doesn't matter that much. You should be able to do almost the same things as I'm doing here. Maybe the icons is placed a bit different than in my version. But if you have any question, you're more than welcome to uh, comment in there and I will help you as much as I can. First of all, we're gonna go up to project properties and you can see here on my screen what setting I'm using. You should take the exact same settings as I'm using here. You can see I'm using 1920 by uh, 1080. I'm using the frames at 60. And all of this, I haven't changed any of all the other things here. Before I'm coming to a uh, full resolution render quality, I have taken the best. Uh, motion blur, do not touch any of that. Just let all the other stuff be. If you want to change a uh, thing, you can go into audio and set whatever uh, rate uh, your microphone have. I'm using a Blue Yeti, so I have uh, 48,000. If you don't know it, I can show you guys how to do it right here. Okay guys, so let me show you how you can see it. First of all, you're gonna go down and uh, right click on the little uh, speaker, go to recorded devices. In here you can see I'm using the Blue Yeti stereo microphone. You're gonna right click on it, go to properties. In here you're gonna go to advanced, and here we have it if you have another number just change it over here to whatever number is standing there normally it's 44,100 but if you have something else please change it you will uh, get the best possible quality if you have um, if you're gonna have all um, your future projects start up with those settings just set a hack here and it will be there all the time first of all I'm gonna give you a few tips on how to make your video look even better so first of all, you're gonna right click on your video and go to switches and you're gonna disable resampling. And you're gonna press out of it and you're gonna do the same on your audio. Go to switches and then this time you're gonna, oops, you're gonna go to and press normalize. There we go, now you can actually see the voice down here. And uh, that was just a few, uh, few thought things. I'll not uh, come in and talk a lot about what the different things are doing, but it's all about the quality. I promise you that, guys. It will take a long time if I'm gonna explain, and I think you guys just wanna have the solution on how to get the best possible quality on YouTube. And the next one, we're gonna go in and put some color on it. I have uh, pre-made some colors, so I'm just gonna go color corrector. I made the one here a uh, CSGO color. I'm gonna, do, gonna drag it down. Let's see. There we go. Okay, just go with the video so you guys can see it. I have uh, those numbers already typed in. You can see the low, mid, and high, and all of those. I'm gonna type them in in the um, description on the video so you can see whatever it is. You are not able to. Uh, I cannot just uh, put it up as a file. You need to create this by yourself, but it's really, really easy. If you don't know how, just type in the comment and I will help you with it. So now where we have the put on the first filter, we're going to put in a little sharpen. So let's just see sharpen that we have here. And I already have made another one for CSGO. I'm going to drag it down. Maybe you can see on the picture over here that's this little thing changing. There we go. Maybe it's hard to see, but it's there. 0 0.050 and I called it new for CSGO. Okay. And another thing that's... Uh, I personal thing that's really important is level and it's uh, a lot of the videos maybe you have noticed is when you are in Sony Vegas or other recording programs or airing programs it seems like the color are so beautiful but when you get get on the video onto YouTube it looks so dark and uh, I found out there's a solution here that's changing a bit it's not doing it all but it's doing something it's better than nothing that's for sure under the levels, those here I have is uh, those. All of those are standard, so don't think about you don't have all of those uh, different filters. Those uh, I'm using in this video is 100% standard. Uh, so find the one that's called level, and here computer RGB to studio RGB. You're just gonna drag this down. 
bam now it gonna change it maybe you can see this little light a uh, little brightness on the whole picture you can change uh, a few things in here and experiment if you want more color or not I'm actually pretty fine with the, the color that's here now so I'm gonna stick with that okay so now where we have put in the colors we just gonna select what part you have uh, edit down here of course you have a lot more editing down here with a lot more layers you just gonna select whatever layer you have here you don't want to render too much you just select it and then we are ready to the next step and now we are on the tricky part there's a lot of guys who don't know and have tried and experimented with it and have failed but after a lot of tries I actually found out how to get this to work and now I'm gonna show it with you guys and first of all you're gonna go to file render as and in here you have um, of course as you maybe already know main concept AVC AVAC uh, you can take on the internet HD 1080p and press customize template I already did that a million times I have tried so many you can almost see it here I think they can just be in the screen you see all of those different settings I have tried everything and it just didn't work but finally I found a solution that actually worked and I'm gonna show it with you guys now so let us share some good information I'm gonna press cut my template and in here you can see the important things in here is frame size you're gonna choose a uh, custom frame size don't try to take any of those down here uh, a lot of you guys think oh that would be amazing and it's actually fitting but Sony Vegas sometimes messing up those numbers and it actually doesn't fit 100% and when you're gonna get into uh, 1440p 60fps you need to go higher of course so whatever even if you're recording as I am in uh, 1000 uh, uh, sorry 1920 uh, by 1080 sorry uh, it's okay you can still upscale the video and it still looks a lot better than um, than the normal quality because you are able to get the VP9 encoder so in here you are just gonna uh, tw uh, type in 2516 by uh, 1440 you're gonna in the profile set it to high frame rate again as the other project up here you're gonna set it to 60 non progressive you can almost see the numbers on my screen number two use the blogging filter uh, I have down here in the megabit per second I have tried so many different numbers uh, and I actually found myself pretty uh, satisfied with those settings I am using here down here in the, the encoder mode in the first time I was using this I hadn't uh, I looked a lot of other guys uh, on YouTube and uh, on the internet and I wasn't 100% sure how they got this box so if you don't know it I can show it or uh, I can make a new video on it but if you have any question on how to get it please type in the comment and I will help you guys uh, but how to set this is pretty easy you're just gonna go into the system down here in the button check the GPU and you can see now it's it's CUDA is available so I'm gonna use that maybe you will say something else OpenCL or something then you're gonna choose that I just gonna use the one it uh, sets its cable off it will make the quality a lot better and faster under the audio of course we have already been through it uh, uh, 48,000 we're gonna take that one bitrate uh, don't try to go any higher one uh, 192 uh, is uh, pretty nice uh, it's actually what uh, YouTube uh, provides if you're trying to go even higher it will just make the sound uh, yeah worse. Uh, it will just you know uh, scale the sound down again and you'll not get anything out of it it'll just take a lot more time to render so uh, don't bother uh, trying to get higher there under the project uh, you're gonna change the video uh, render quality to best and then you are actually ready to start rendering so then we're just gonna press render and then the video is just starting rendering it can take a lot of time guys so be patient just let it be and I will return when it's done okay and now it's finally done we have a nice file here that you should be able to open and you can see our video is uh, playing pretty well here all through blah 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 and fine 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 
Okay, now we are actually ready to uh, start uploading. And for this uh, process, uh, I'm gonna use uh, Google Drive. And there's a good reason for that. I'm just gonna open up Google Drive here so you are able to see it. Google Drive is something all have. If you have a YouTube account, you should be able to have a Google Drive too with any ease. Just gonna press this little uh, box up here. Press uh, Google Drive and you will get in here. The, it's pretty easy to, to use. You can just drag in your files. Uh, while I'm doing this, I can explain why we're gonna use Google Drive and not just upload it to YouTube right away. Uh, this uh, Google Drive is uh, built up almost like uh, YouTube. It is uh, compressing and preparing the file to be uploaded to YouTube. So the quality, maybe you already tried it if you have uploaded a uh, video to YouTube. It takes some time to the quality to get up to 1080p, 60fps or whatever quality you're using. Uh, but in this process, it's, uh, it's just building up here in Google Drive and it seems to be working a lot better uh, when you're trying to get the VP9 encoder. And the VP9 encoder is for sure something that you want because the quality of your video is so much more nice. You can see now I just dragged the uh, file in that uh, Sony Vegas made for us and it's actually in here. So when it's in here, you're just gonna let it be in here for now. Uh, there's a lot of uh, rumors on going on how long, uh, one day, some hours and something like that. Normally I just say that it needs to be in here some hours. You can press a file, you can see I already uploaded some videos. You can see I can press one of them and the video just starts here. If you're gonna press the little uh, uh, icon here then you can see settings 1080p HD. So it will never come higher than this. This video is already, I know I have uploaded it on YouTube already. Uh, it is um, 1440p60. Uh, uh, but it will never come higher than this. So we will just let it be here now. And when it's up here, you are actually able to start uploading. I will uh, return when my video is ready for uploading uh, on YouTube so we can take it on from there. Hello and welcome back guys. I just gonna tell you that my video seems to be working now. We can just take a quick test. That was the video I uploaded a few hours ago. You can see down here now it stands HD 1080p and it will not come any higher right now. So next on we're gonna go to the next step. We're just gonna close this down again. We're gonna go over to YouTube. Over here of course you have your upload part. In here you can see import videos, import videos, uh, your videos from Google Photos. If you don't, if you don't uh, see your video here, you can just type to me again in the comments and I will uh, explain how you're gonna get your video here because there's a little feature where you're gonna switch a few things in the settings uh, before you're able to see the videos inside of your, um, your um, photo. So now we can see this uh, video that was the video i just uploaded that earlier today we're gonna pick this one and we're gonna select so uh, now it's gonna process the video and after it had been processed i will uh, normally just take uh, private and there's a specific reason for that uh, as you know uh, the video have already been rendered uh, in uh, google drive but that means it's only easy to get the VP9. It's having anything with the quality or anything like that to do just about that VP9 uh, encoder. So make the video a uh, private just for the few uh, first hours and after that it should uh, get up to uh, 1440p 60fps. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, wait for this and then we're gonna uh, public it. So I will return uh, with the, the link and uh, we will just wait a few hours and see if it works. Okay guys, now I have uh, been waiting a little longer and it's actually already working. Now you can see we have the vi video, it's a private video right now. But if we go over here to the little setting, you can see now we are getting the option. But best of all, if you are right clicking on the video and press stats for nerds, there we have it, the VP9 encoder. 
and that's just amazing so you should be able to enjoy your video with the best quality so let's just see just gonna go up again and we're just gonna take it up in full screen and as you can see here the quality is a lot better so i really hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little video so uh, you are of course more than welcome to uh, subscribe to me or like this video and if you have any questions you are more than welcome to type in the comments or just uh, give me a private message thank you and have a nice day bye bye guys I only call you when it's